All right, y'all, we're, we're at our first stop, about to get some authentic local food. That's what I need in my life because eh, the tourist stuff just ain't quite the way I need it to be. So first stop, let's see how it goes. We are going to get mac and cheese. Oh my gosh, I was just talking about it, so I'm excited to have this. So their version is, it's mac and cheese, but then it has like different seasonings in it. And then look at this fatty pizza. Yummy, beauty. And apparently there's like some sort of sweetness to this. So I'm very excited about it, y'all. I was just talking to Sabrina about how I love the Bayesian mac and macaroni pie. Mm -hmm. Keep so, calling it mac and yeah, cheese. Yeah, keep calling it mac and cheese. Sorry, y'all. Okay, so you know, we mostly eat mac and cheese in the so US. Far. It's good, mm -hmm. it's good. Okay, and what do you think about the macaroni pie? It's good, thank you. Why do I keep calling mac and cheese? I don't know. Uh, we like the mac and cheese. We yeah, like the definitely. pork, right? Yeah. Okay, it was good. It was like a little sweet, the pork. Mm -hmm. That was good. Mm -hmm. And then the mac and cheese. Nice and cheesy. It. Yeah. it wasn't too spicy because I find some people make it a little too spicy. Like hot spicy or Yeah, like hot spicy. Oh. I would say the way this differs from our mac, we don't call it macaroni pie, but baked mac and cheese. Yeah is like i think the most seasons we use is like salt and pepper for that i do use seasoning for other things but for our mac and cheese we don't really throw in as much y'all do like 10 different seasonings in yeah there, right yeah a lot of egg yeah, yeah, yeah. milk mustard <laughs> yeah well as yeah right pepper. so i'd say that's the difference and onions they said yes right, too. lots of onions and garlic so it's definitely a different i'm gonna try this actually i'm gonna try mixing your recipe with patty mm -hmm. patty labelle's five cheese i feel like that would be good because yeah. they mostly use cheddar so we'll see. Yes. I'll let y'all know how that goes. This is the mac and cheese that we had, y'all. Don't sleep with me. You gotta bite them. Yes. And pierce them before it's done. Oh, let's see what you got. Like, like women? Oh my god. Yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> she likes hers with right, You can take out some and I'll, I'll put on a bit of salt afterwards. So these are called donks. Yeah, donks. So we're going to try them first without salt, <laughs> as recommended by Senor. Tasty, definitely recommend the salt. There's a different taste for the red ones, or the brown ones, and the green ones. So the owner of this stall, he is a naturalist, so he would specialize in organically grown products. So he has a wide range of natural products. That's going to include natural juices, he makes his own butter, peanut butter, cheese, mayonnaise, ice cream. They do the baked nuts in the back. And when he's not here, he's going to spend most of his time inside his commercial kitchen. So he is also a small businessman and he's going to be doing vegan stall cooking because he's also vegan as well. Vegan sorrel. Now the sorrel that we have here in the Caribbean is not to be confused with the European variety, which is a common or garden sorrel. This is what we call red sorrel. You're going to hear several different names for it depending on where you are. Uh, you might also hear Jamaican sorrel, sour sour, or Florida cranberry. Usually in the US they refer to it as Florida cranberry. We were happy about this. It was not watered down. Thank you. Lion, you done good. Thank you. So good. <laughs> I feel like each mango is different. <laughs> some of them are a little more stringy and some are a little more firm. Like this one is a little more acidic and firm and I could eat a hundred of these while the other mm. one is a little riper and more strings in it. I love mango. I love traveling so why not travel my island first and teach the people, teach locals from beaches to restaurants to hotels to snorkeling. You'll find it all on my channel. So let me tell you why I like your channel. Yeah. Because you need the information from the locals. Like, I just feel like you guys can provide the type of information that we can't get from exactly. even someone who's been here a million times yeah. as a tourist. Yeah. I mean, you putting me on to some driving notes. This girl helped me out because I was yeah. freaking out driving. <laughs> that vlog to come, y'all. But yep. yeah, absolutely check Shout out Bayesian Lifestyles. That's the goal. Make sure you guys come here prepared and ready and you know exactly what you need to go, need to do, and where you need to go. So I'm excited for this one. I was really excited about this last time. We got to go into the bakery. It feels nostalgic to me because it's like all the things that my parents used to have me have. So I'm gonna show you guys what's in here. Right? Okay, 
that one is the coconut bread. So what are we about to try now? All right, so the one that you're gonna get to sample when we head back out is one of the more popular meat-based pastries. It's called a meat roll, so very easy name to remember. 100% ground beef, or we would also say mint sweet in Barbados, just like in English. You're gonna notice that most of their pastries has a yellow coloring. So the reason why that's yellow is that they would use egg yolk to give it a natural yellow color. Oh, really? I never thought about why it was yellow, but that's not why I would have guessed. So this is what I've been dreaming about. The current slice is what they call it. So I like that it has the flaky crust that they just mentioned, made with egg. That's where the yellow comes from. But you see how crisp and flaky it is? And then we have raisins inside. So that's what I'm excited for. If you're Caribbean, you already know the deal. If you're not, when you come here, try it and you'll know the deal then. Guys, we are going to try Charad! I'm so excited. So, uh, we're at the Agape Chocolate Factory. I love chocolate so much. So anytime I get to try it, very, very, very happy. So we can taste test. I love it. Thank you, sir. Do you mind being on camera? Not really. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> can I try the salted caramel one? Yeah. Rough caramel. That's salted caramel is the chocolate. Oh yeah? I'll try that too. It's really good. Dang, decision, decision, y'all. Oh, this is tasty, sir. What's your favorite? Can I chocolate it back? No. Can I try They're the... all good. Okay. Let's try the... Can I try the chocolate? That's my last one, that's my last one. Okay. Yeah, chocolate, you know, pretty regular. <laughs> <laughs> It tastes taste. good. It tastes good though. But I mean, like I've tried chocolate. Those other two flavors are like, oh, that's no, something very different. Chocolate. 